since the dawn of time, people have wondered, what is the best optic in Modern Warfare 2? They were very confused back then. Well, finally, millions of years later, I am going to solve that problem. I don't know how this video is gonna go, but um, here's, a, here's a tier list for the best sites in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So first of all, if you don't know tier lists, you got A, B, C, D, E, F, and that's it. However, uh, this really uh, is not very descriptive at all. A, B, C, D, like what, what am I in? In high school? I never went there. So instead, we're gonna change these categories. A tier is now the only site I will ever use. No, oh, somehow that doesn't fit. Hold on. Then B tier are sites with dumb names. Then C is bad reticle, meaning it's a decent site, just the reticle uh, makes me question the existence of God. D tier is just, is just weird. And E are for ones that don't need to exist. And lastly, F, which is for kill me. Now I'm going to be looking at all of these on just the M4 as a solid foundation. The M4 being the vanilla of weapons, the missionary of firepower, the tier list of YouTube videos. All right, first up is the Sublime Pro. Very classic, very standard. It's a red dot sight. Not um not the best, not the worst. I, I mean, I don't know. It's it's I I guess I guess it's a sight I'll I'll use. Then is the SC Mini. It seems to be very, very similar to the Sublime Pro. The difference is it has a a, a, a cross in the middle there. It kind of bleeds. It's kind of very, um, oh yeah, look at that. There's like a red circle that follows you. You see that? You getting that camera guy? I'm gonna go and drop that one in here. Actually, or is it a bad reticle? Hmm, this is a tough one right off the bat. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I don't know if this is allowed, if this is sanctioned by the by the tier list organization, but I'm just gonna put it right here on the line between bad reticle and just weird. Cronin mini dot is up next. And this one, this one's all right. It's pretty standard. I'm not a particular fan of the circle. Uh, although it kind of does remind me of the tar from uh, MW2. So you know what? I'm gonna put that one, I'm gonna put that one up in, in the uh, the top, the top tier. What the hell is it called? Now we got the Cronin Mini Pro, which I think is the, yep, it's the one site that I ever use. All right, yeah, no, this is like the best, The be it's the best one in the game. What the hell, like, like what am I doing here? Then we got that SZ Sigma 4 Optic. It's very similar, it's another reflex. It's very boxy. I, I don't know why I would choose this one over the Cronin Mini. Honestly, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give this one just a doesn't need to exist. As the Mini Tac coming up, very very similar to the other one. I'm noticing a pattern. It's like the border is just getting bigger, and like I don't know why you'd ever want the border to be bigger. Next up is the Aim Op V4, which. Like, I mean, I we're, are, are you not supposed to aim with the other ones? Yeah, I mean, sure, yeah, th uh, throw that up there too. This one, I genuinely, I don't know what the difference is between this one and the other, like, eight of them. They're about the same, uh, d uh, doesn't need to exist. Next up is the monocle. Oh yeah, no, this is that really ugly one. This, I just, I hate this. I have no idea why. I just, uh, I hate it. Corvus SOL 76. This is just a slightly zoomed in version of that other one that I said didn't need to exist. So like, I mean, I guess it, it can exist a little bit more, I guess, than, than others. I'll put it like right there. Like, like it's, it's like, it's almost at first down, you know? As the recharge, did I even change sites? Oh yeah, no, they are different sites, um, but they are very much the same. I'm just gonna put them right next to each other. This is nice. Okay, I can dig it. Now the problem is the caps. Why do we need these these giant caps on? It blocks my view. I can't see if someone's like trying to trying to call duty jump me from from the top rope up there, you know? I have a giant blind spot right on my forehead. And honestly, it's just it's weird. It's just a, it's just weird. Ooh, okay. All right. So this one's a bit more of a uh, a little bit more zoomed in, more of a more of a holographic sight. I like it. You know what? You know what? I'm going to put it I'm going to put it up here. Next up is the Lone Wolf, and you'll be howling for this thing. I also like this actually. You know what? I think both of these, this might be a controversial take in the in the rules that I've set forth in this dumb game. It belongs up there. Now we got the Kazen Hollow. Kazen? Kazen? Yeah, okay, so this one I don't like. 
and um, I'll try to give you a reason why, but to be honest, a lot of it's just raw emotion. It's like, it's it's real zoomed in, like, like it's a precision sight, right? Like, like I wanna be precise. But the reticle, the reticle is one of those like holographic sites with like uh, a dot in the middle and then the circle around, which can get a little bit messy in, uh, in my opinion. In my a professional opinion, I'm a professional. You're going up here into bad reticle. I, yeah, I don't like this one. This one's bad. Corvus downrange. All right, I'm putting you in dumb names. I mean, a lot of these can go in dumb names. All right, downrange, monocle. Honestly, uh, so many, every single one deserves in dumb names. Corvus downrange. Like, you're just picking terminology out. Next up is this SZ Holotherm, and this one's interesting because it has some, like, target acquisition. I, I guess it kind of highlights people, but, like, not really. It just, like, gives it an orange tint. It's like literal rose-tinted glasses. Well, no, but not rose. Tangerine-tinted glasses. Yeah, all right, you're gonna go, you're gonna go under weird. Oh, this is the one with the, with the spotter scope. Okay, I can dig it. I actually have used this site, um, a lot. You're, uh, you're going straight to the top the uh the vlk it's pretty good it's a long range sight it works well another solid one we're we got a we're, we're we're on a roll right now then we got the schlager and this is kind of the same i don't mean to just have like the bias of like the other one came first so it should exist but this one shouldn't but just like i don't like the cut of its jib i don't like it i hate the term schlager you know what schlager is going into dumb name it sounds like what they would rename a beer in a children's cartoon to get her on the sensor forge tack delta four all right cool this is good this is a little bit more zoomed in sure i i'll i'll put it up here the cronin zero p again good but doesn't need to exist it's like the exact same thing next up is the sz aggressor okay uh, another like it doesn't Def like it doesn't even say what it is. Oh, it's a fuck. It's a thermal. Ah, yes. I should have known that aggressor means thermal. This is bad. I don't like this. I'm never ever gonna use this. They'll they'll have to kill me first. The Schlager Night View, which if I had to guess is gonna be very very similar. Oh yeah, it's another one of these. I mean, I guess it's good, but you will never catch me putting one of these on though. Next up, we got a thermal. You know what? Thermal, I, I kind of like, I kind of like this. I know I just, <laughs> I just threw a different thermal. You know, what? I'm going to, I'm going to back it up a little bit here. Was it the aggressor? No. Which one? Shit. One of these was thermal and wherever I put it, let's just pretend that I put it up here with this one. Uh, Cause you do need some thermal sites. It's boring without them. Everything's cold this one's weird because it just makes everything green oh interesting it is it's heat it's heat activated because when you fire your gun you see some weird shit and honestly for that reason i think i would never use this because that's really distracting Just like you fire and like oh my god just weird so now we're getting into hybrid territory here so we got this one which is all right this is a standard kind of like zoomed in hollow and then you flip it and it's another hollow they're both the same reticle and i don't i don't like that i feel like they should be different ones so i'm gonna take him I, i'll say this one's a bad reticle for sure okay this one's nice that that they do have different reticles but i feel like they're flipped like i, I want a very precise reticle for for my zoom in and a less so one I mean, I guess it's all right. I just, I don't, I think I'd use this one. Vortex is another hybrid, but this one's green, which makes it better. And honestly, I kind of like it. I'm digging it. Just going off of what I said last time of like having the two sites not be the same, I'm gonna have to put this one in bad reticle. I'm very, very sorry for, for all you uh, SZ Vortex 90 fans out there. I know you have such a large community. I've been to the subreddit. Oh God, I hate this. This one just makes me nauseous. Now we got my buddy Oscar. He's finally making his optic debut. I don't kind of like that, this style either. Something about it just feels weird. I guess I'm just changing like the angle at which I'm looking through it, but it feels like I'm, I'm like on a double decker bus right now. And I'm just going bottom floor, top floor, bottom floor, top floor. Does that make any sense to anyone? So I don't know, just it's, it's under just weird for now. Thermo optic X9. I like this one in theory, right? But there's a couple of problems with it. One, this reticle. Oh my god. And second, I, I still I don't see a point in the in the tangerine. So I guess I'll put that right on the right on the edge of, of just weird and bad reticle. Or maybe just weird don't need to exist. Honestly, it's it's like all of these. I'm just gonna it's got bad reticle, 
it's just weird and it doesn't need to exist. You know what, and, and kill me. This one's the clear shot. This is another one that it, it swaps between the two. Oh, but it's got this stupid one. Just because it's this sight, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is also a kill me. This looks like an actual sniper scope now. It's pretty good. I th there is a cap on it off to the left there, but it, it's definitely not as distracting as the old one. It's like a, a Frenchman's hat. HMW20. This is really where we get into some some like weird ones. Yeah, I don't like this at all. This uh the, the, the reticle on it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh uh bad reticle, bad reticle. And we got the Luca Bandera. Does it not zoom in at all? Oh, oh, it's variable. Okay, I can dig this. This one is the DS Farsight. Kind of same deal. It's got a zoom. Ooh, you know what? This one's better. I like this one better than that last one. We're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna retroactively. We're gonna throw this guy up here. And we're gonna move you down into. Um, you know what? It's gonna be in dumb names. Luca Bandera. What was I thinking? Ew. No, no, no. Good God. Okay. They really just like went balls to the wall in these last few. Jesus. And then there's the Ares clear shot, oh, which is a hybrid. That's interesting. We went back to hybrids. You know what? This is all right. I kind of like this. It's super close and then super far. All right, you know what? I think that I think there's a place in the in the sandbox for it. Let's go and throw it here. And then last but not least, no modifications. No sight. You know, I mean, it's all right. I guess it it kind of depends on the weapon. So I'm just going to put it uh I'm just going to I'm just do another one of these. There we go. So here is uh the definitive list of every sight in the game. And uh, if any of them are worth a damn, if you disagree with this list, uh, then you're wrong. I don't know what to tell you. Um, this is the internet and opinions are fact. And because I was the first one to have an opinion, my opinion's fact. So take that, atheists.